Since the Law and Justice Party came to power in 2015, Poland's government has tried to take total control of the judicial system. To many people, issues concerning independence of judi judiciary seems to be quite abstract and quite distant from their daily life. In my opinion, uh, the change concerning judiciary may affect everybody. No nie sądów, nie 2017 was the year of fight for independence of judiciary in Poland. There were different laws proposed by the parliament, but there were also people protesting on streets in more than 200 Polish cities. You know, Parliament has passed a series of crippling laws, including one that completely undermines the independence of the Supreme Court. And on July the 3rd, dozens of Supreme Court judges are going to be dismissed from their jobs. Step by step, institution by institution, they were subject of taking over by the ruling party. They were subject of political subordination. When you create that kind of atmosphere, then you cannot expect always that judges will behave in accordance with their professional integrity. All of this creates, uh, in my opinion, the atmosphere of so-called chilling effect, such that within their minds, they perfectly understand what is the thin red line they should not cross. Without meaningful checks and balances, Basic human rights are at risk, like women's rights or press freedom. So this is where the European Commission has to come in. Poland, as a member of the EU, must maintain fundamental rights, including independent courts. The European Commission was right to use Article 7 against Poland because that's the tool it has to deal with governments that put human rights at risk. Now it's time for every other EU government to stand up until Poland once again really has genuinely independent courts.